Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, your host, dear man, and I'm here yet again. I'm so sorry, guys. Why are you even saying sorry? Nothing happened. Okay, guys, I just realized the other time, you guys might not know what's going on, but I didn't know. I thought the other time I was literally recording, but then I just realized this thing that I'm, like, you know, moving around, this thing wasn't actually around my thing. And I thought that I was literally recording that time. What is this, everyone? <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe this, mommy, daddy, I am so... I'm so sorry, what happened? Wasn't this thing actually recording another time? I don't know what just happened. Okay, guys, let me just gonna explain on what's going on over here in the situation. So, Glenn over there is literally talking about anime stuff with Beast Boy, and Beast Boy totally agrees. And literally, he literally ignored Raven would ever be in the situation. Oh my god, my bestie. They never saw you as a bestie. Can't believe, we have to start over again. What is this? I want to go back and read it again. And this kid, I swear to god. Nana looked into the fires of hell, and she saw me. Who taught this kid? Who taught this kid how to even swear? What is this? And yes, I literally skip to that part whenever I get stuck on that part. Because whenever Mr. Hobbs... I don't know what to say in the situation. So Glenda was literally talking about my dream that I had with Shigaraki, and... He was so... Oh my... I swear to God, Glenda, you're literally a child, and I won't do anything to you, so can you stop saying that too loud? I swear to God. Oops, I'm so sorry for saying this, but yes, Beast Boy, as I was saying about Shigaraki, is really so hot, even though he looks so disgusting, but I actually love him. And this is how it's going with your sweet face. You're literally losing all this time, like Chucky would even care. You know, I swear to go, why wasn't the other time? Why wasn't the video actually recording the other time? What is this? We even stopped recording that part. No one knows. I think someone, I think some ghost is literally haunting me in this, on my apartment. Who knows? Who taught this kid how to swear? Do you even know what the H-E-L-L -L means? Yeah, it's hell. How do you know? I'm so sorry, but how do you know? Well, I don't know, but hell basically means, you know, hell and heaven. Okay, I am so lost in words. I need to go to a medical hospital in this situation. I can't. This is driving me so nuts, by the way, Irma. Oh my god, will you all literally let me and Beast Boy have a talk in this situation? Like, can't you be, like, patient in this situation? I don't know why you all are being so quiet in this situation. Like, oh, <laughs> Will this rabbit ever stop? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but this did this kid say something? Okay, guys. I know what I'm doing in the situation. I I have to start over again if you didn't know. Because I have to read out what the the tape recorder. Wait, I thought we already Wow, and now it won't actually show. What is this? I'm sorry. You know, what happened? Oh, it's basically, you know the video that we were making the other time? It was actually this video's problem. I don't know. But I didn't saw this circle thing that I'm moving with. My fingers. I didn't actually saw this was actually recording. Now I literally have to start over again. I'm so sorry, Ruby. No, no, it's okay. See, I told you, immortals, Ruby is so kind and nice, and you guys won't believe. What did? What did Glenda herself literally had a talk, and even Beast Boy? You don't even care about your mama anymore, I thought you actually had a crush on Raven. Baby, I literally thought that as well, what happened to you? Can you stop with this nonsense, I swear to god, I have to go and find Jinx. Why do literally have a crush on Jinx, why can't I have a crush on the my academia boys? I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Todoroki, Deku, and even Bakugo are so lost in words. Even for Glenda, they're literally trying to confess her true love's between. I swear to God, 
can you, can you all la literally let me have a talk with this doll, Glenda, as I was saying, your hair literally looks like Ariana Grande, I think that's how you say her name, yeah, this is actually her wig, these were like off sale, like I literally found these on like, online shopping, I literally bought them, are these so amazing? Wow, I never knew Chucky is a rich family, how did you even do that? Well, I literally stole daddy's credit card. His killing credit card, by the way. And I literally... How did he even deliver? Oh, n never mind. The person at the door wasn't actually... He was literally gone. He literally just put the box of my um, wig of Ariana Grande. I am a big fan of her. And then he literally gone away. I literally saw him out the window. And then I literally opened the door and get at the box inside the, our house and literally put my wig on it. And mommy, daddy, you don't even say anything. I mean, where did I even finally get this from? You literally thought I stole it from someone, from like a kid. And this is how my life is going. Lisa, will you ever say anything about this? I am gonna vomit. I'm gonna vomit until I die in this situation. Believe me or not, vomit however you want. Those people are still shipping you with drugs. Am I gonna cry out loud in this situation? Big sister, Blackfire, I wanna go to you right now in this situation. Then go to her, oh my gosh, stop acting like this, like oh my god. If you really want to see her so bad, then just go. Go and fly up to the space and you can literally hug her forever, even though she hated you and never cared a shit about you. <coughs> Wait, Angel, you just said, I can't anymore. Am I, am I going nuts or something? Am I going psycho and something? Flourish, I swear to God, let me go. Angel, can you stop with this nonsense? Stop trying to get out of my hands. And like, as I was saying, do you like my hair? It's so silky, isn't it? It is so silky, I really like it. And her, like, her hair is literally, like, blonde. Just like a Bakugo hair himself. Is he so hot, isn't he? <laughs> wow, this boy. Why are you laughing? Like, Harley Quinn herself would act like now. I mean, laugh right now. And this is how your little brother is going. Wow. And I swear to God, stop this. Can you stop talking? Lily's over there being so quiet, like she doesn't, she didn't even, like, join us. I'm sorry, but this, did, did this kid, this small kid, did she just say what? Believe me or not, it will just literally took you a second or even minutes or few days to even become psycho right. Yes! Pony. Ponya, I want to get out of here. There is nowhere else I can go and get out of this situation. Why is this feeling like this is a loop? Ruby, did you say something? Oh, I just said this feels like this is a loop. Oh, okay. Why is this giving me? You do remember the loop on when we were literally playing with Asta, the psychopath kid. What is going on over here? Like, as I was saying. The hell? Okay, I quit for my life. And the fact that, that I can't even go anywhere. Wow, Deku, finally. My simp. I'm sorry, but you have your what now? Oh, come on, everyone will love my Hirokidime, isn't it? They're the most hottest bitch ever. Lily. Lily, I'm sorry for saying this. But did you just say what? Lily, what is wrong with you? Believe me or not, but they're the hottest bitch ever in this situation. Everyone will love them until they die in their free funeral.
Why am I being so quiet? It's like that I literally, my soul, my soul literally gone out of my body. I'm literally losing so much. Okay, you know what? I will watch Ed because I can't anymore. This rabbit is gonna annoy, like, annoy me ever since. Oh, and guys, like, I'm so sorry for this situation, like... Did you just say what the other time? The fuck? This Ruby kid is literally messed up, just like how the Asta kid, I never knew. She literally turned out just like Asta. And this kid is even clever. This kid literally thought. She's clever. I don't know why you're being so quiet in the situation, Jess, my bro, but this kid is so clever. When we actually read that tape thing, that tape recorder thing, it literally said the same name, Asta. This kid is kind of acting like she's a detector. I mean, what is going on? Should I go this way? Like, I don't even know where to go in this situation, guys. We are doing so perfectly fine, honey. What is this My Hero Academia thing? This, this looks so fun. This literally reminds me of Batman when he was actually versusing, like, Joker. Yeah, yeah, that is true, isn't it? Good job, honey. I really like how you're literally calling me honey. Well, it's sometimes my Nan always calls me honey as well. Well, sometimes she always calls me sweetie and stuff. Wow, your Nana really must actually care for you. I thought she was, she was a person without a heart. And this is how Irma literally thought that Asta and Irma were literally besties. And this is how she's roasting her so much. I swear to God, Glenda... And even for Beast Boy, they're literally trying, like, turning me into a psycho. My mind, I, I, this traumatic loop, how am I gonna escape from it? I literally need medical. Can't I sort of go stop this? I can't even range in the situation because of your behavior. Can you stop this right now? Look at Starfire, is literally bursting out of crying. She's literally, there's tears coming out of her eye. That she literally wants to see Blackfire again. I yeah, okay, you have to bring Blackfire, I swear to god. Please, please do bring my Blackfire sister. I need to see my sister in a long time. Well the reason why I'm telling this to Irma because she can actually make your big sister psycho as well. Because of she's like she's saying this all of these things. This is confirmed. I'm gonna bring that stupid um alien's big sister, believe me or not. Bring her right now. Maybe on the next Friday. I mean, maybe on the next Saturday. Good job. Robin is so speechless. Look at everyone. Oh, come on. Lily. I told you. I told you, just my bro. All of you didn't agree with me. I didn't, I don't even know all of you because you are all from different fandoms in this situation, but my guess was right all along. This, my guess was all along, like all right in this situation. As what I was literally talking, I literally thought, Lily, you will literally become a psycho in your life. And now look at you acting like this. Did you really just said yes? Dude, is she is she out of her mind or something? Believe me or not, I don't know. Lily, are you okay? What happened to you? What did you just say? 
Believe me or not, it's been a long time since I'm swearing, but it's really fun. I'm swearing again because with my family, I don't even, like, with my family, I can't even swear. Because I have a little brother, if you didn't know, and he's always the one who always tries to actually say the same word like me out loud. When, like, whenever I literally just say bitch, he also says bitch. And then my mom literally grounded me for, like, ten days almost. Um, GF, why are you keep talking to that guy over there? That whole body is literally green. Oh, BF, I didn't... I mean, <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> I mean, GF, I didn't actually saw you right there. I was literally talking to him about something else. Is, is Lily herself, is she way adorable than me? Well, I don't know why, but she's, she is. Look at her. She's a furry, and she, plus she's soft. And like, you're a human, and I respect human as well. You're so cute. Your face is so cute. Aw, thank you, GF. You're welcome. But as I was saying, I can't believe. I just want him to fuck me so much. <laughs> I know, right? Same. I don't know why you all are being so quiet, but as I was saying, I literally just watched... I literally watched Chucky movie and also Annabelle movie. Annabelle is literally a demonic spirit. There is something, a little girl around seven years old, and she's, she's literally possessing Annabelle. And there was a demonic sp like spirit actually possessing her. Annabelle? Even what if she looks like she's a playful little doll? Yes, though. No one fucking cares whoever, whatever they actually say. All I'm saying is that I don't know why all the single time I've been so quiet whenever Panda talks. It's like I am in my own little world, but it really doesn't matter, does it? Kachan, you are on your little world. We are all tree maniacs going so insane for this little precious doll. No wonder why everyone loves us so much. It's just because of our handsome fucking faces, right? <laughs> Please date me, I will give everything to you. Even you can have my Ariana grounded hair. I can give everything I have. I can give you my clothes. And if you can't even wear it. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude, am I- Why am I- I can't believe the other video. The other video that we just literally made. What happened to that video? I'm sorry. Did that video go cut because of it so long or something? I think so too. I think that video's been too long, that's why it's literally gone. Wait, GF, what are you talking about? Oh, we were just talking about, you know, random boy stuffs. Oh, really? I also want to get involved as well. It's so annoying on just seeing Mr. Hop's face. Don't like his face. Good job, honey. I love you all. I love how all of you act so psycho in this situation. And even for you, Deco, you listen to the story. I don't know, what is this? <laughs> Believe me or not, this is how psychopath three maniacs will act between you. On how much they fucking love you so much that they can resist themselves. Nothing so psycho, isn't it? I don't care. <laughs> you all, you three idiots. You damn asses, you all literally thought you are gonna have the fun without me. You literally just thought in your little mind that I'm gonna be quiet for the rest of my life on whatever my teddy bear literally told me about. I don't care whoever these people literally just ship us with whoever this girl is. I don't care about them. I bet they look ugly in reality. All I have to say is that she... It's the girl that can complete my whole entire life. I knew idiots thought I'm gonna be quiet for the rest of my hockey fucking life. Oh, and do you know Kaski Bakuk himself? Yes! I'm sorry. 
Why is the Beast Boy literally talking to a little psychopath doll and even Glenda talking to a random? Believe me or not, it really doesn't matter, does it? Can you stop interrupting us in this situation? Like, oh my god, you're always the one who makes everyone been so quiet. But look, we are talking over here. GF, do you want to get involved? Yes, I really want to. What is this boy stuff? And this is how. And this is how literally Asta herself acted between Georgie. Come on, what about Max? Don't even dare. Who said that? I swear to God, who said that? Don't you even dare on comparing my little brother, my sweet little innocent brother, to a psychopath maniac. Can you cut the video? We all have to have a serious talk right this instant. Okay, fine. Well, anyways, guys, I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened to the other video. I think that video was so long that I literally got cut. But yes, guys, I'm literally gonna cut the video. Sorry if this video is short, but yes. I'm gonna see you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye. Yes, bye, guys.